up YouTubers, it's Everide, and this is uh, probably the most essential thing that I will, beyond a helmet, that I will review today. This is uh, armor, right? An armor suit. I'm just going to put it on over my awesome cooling vest. Uh, I found this a couple of years ago on Amazon.com. I bought it thinking, well, it's, it costs $30. It's probably not going to be the best. And I have not regretted it since. This armor has uh, saved my shoulders, my elbows, many times. Now this is not the best armor you can get uh, from TMS, but if you're looking for inexpensive armor that is really easy to take off and, and put on, uh, that's going to protect your shoulders, that doesn't have any protection here, uh, it does have the shoulder cups, and then it does have fantastic back uh, protection. I said it does it, it has fantastic back protection in case you didn't hear me, but uh, uh, you know, the roost guards are only about the size of your hand, but the thing is, is this is made for light use. So I still use this for riding to work, even though I have a much better armor set that I got for only a few dollars more. I'll tell you about that in just a second. But uh, the TMS armor, um, the airflow is really good through this. The uh, positives is that it's protected me very well. I've crashed going 50 miles an hour on the dirt in this. Uh, I did get uh, knocked out and I did break some ribs on my right side, but as far as my shoulders and elbows and everything like that went, everything was good. Uh, this really protected in a slide. I recommend this stuff for the $30, $35 that it's going to cost, either from t-motorsports.com or uh, on Amazon. You can find it on Amazon. I don't think there's much better armor for the money. Now this is not a clone. I'm going to review a different kind of clone. It's sitting on the fence right there. But let me just tell you, this is fantastic. It comes off easy, which is a big deal. It has a nice little kidney guard here, but there's no armor along the sides. It's basically just all on the back. But I've taken some nasty spills in this armor, and it has uh, it saved me uh, quite a few times. So I uh, highly recommend this TMS armor, especially if you're just getting into it and you don't want to spend $150 on some armor. Things you do need to watch out for in this armor is the... Uh, the kidney belt that comes around, the Velcro on it is terrible. Also the zipper is pretty crappy. And uh, when you have it attached, and I'm assuming this happens to, on almost all armor, it's kind of a midriff feel, and then every once in a while you're going to get this uh, cool little protrusion right there. See that little protrusion? It's kind of awkward. It happens all the time. There's nothing you could do about it, except for just keep tucking it, right? Whenever you have a protrusion, you just got to tuck it. Now, the only reason why you'd want to get this armor uh, over the other armor that I'm going to show you is because this armor comes off really easy. It doesn't have any uh, anything over the hand and so it just slides right off just like a jacket. And that's actually kind of a pro and kind of a con. Now I can see that these arms aren't super tight on your arm and so if you really hit hard on your crash this might slide up which, mi which might not be a good thing. That's why I got some different armor. I'll show you that in my next review. We can't we can't do Dude, it no we more. We can't do the show anymore.